that didn't work. Okay. That was a bad thing. <laughs> <laughs> this ought to be better. Okay, can you see that? The yes. alphabet? Okay, great. Okay. So um here we have the letters of the Arabic alphabet. I'm going to say them. Remember we're starting from right to left and then top to bottom. So I'm going to say it. I want you to repeat it after me. Alif. Alif. Ba. 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 Ta. Ta. Tha. Tha. Jim. Jim. Ha. 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 Dal. Dal. Val. 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 Ra. 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 Zay. Zay. Seen. 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 Sheen. Sheen. Sod. Sod. Dod. Dod. Ta. 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 Va. The. Ein. Ein. Rein. Gein. Gein. Uh huh. Gein. Try that one again. Gein. Gein. Fa. 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 Cough. Cough. Calf. Calf. Lamb. Lamb. Meme. Meme. Noon. Noon. Ha. Ha. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's try it again. Listen and just repeat after me. Aleph. Aleph. Ba. Ba. Ta. 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 Jim. Jim. Ha. 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 Dal. Dal. Val. Val. Ra. Ra. Zay. Zay. Seen. Seen. Sheen. Sheen. Sod. Sod. Dod. Dod. Ta. Ta. Va. The. The. Ein. 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 Rein. Rein. Fa. 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 Cough. Cough. Calf. 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 Lamb. Lamb. Meme. 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 Noon. 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 Ha. 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 Wow. 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 Yeah. 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 Very good. Okay. So, um, last class we talked about um, the fact that there are three long vowels. I'm going to show you what they are. You'll need to write them down and remember them. The first long vowel is Aleph. Aleph. Aleph is a long vowel. It typically makes the ah sound. Ah. Okay, our second long vowel is wow, way down here near the end of the alphabet, the letter wow. Now, the letter wow actually has two different sounds. It can be wa, the wa sound is a consonant, but as a vowel, it makes the oo sound, oo. It can also make the o sound if there's a, an, a feta in, fr in front of it before it actually okay so it makes the 
the oo sound or the o sound, but typically the oo sound. And then our last long vowel is ya. And ya makes the e sound, e. Okay, so we have aleph, wow, and ya. A, u, e. And there are short vowels as well, and we'll get to those a little bit later. But while I've got this chart up, I'm going to go ahead and tell you about the one-way connectors. Remember that um, last class we talked about there are six one-way connectors. I'm going to show you what the one-way connectors are. Okay, your first one-way connector is, and again, you'll want to write these down, Aleph. Okay, Aleph is a one-way connector. Anything that precedes it is spine, but anything that comes after it, you have to leave a space. Okay, so Aleph is the first one-way connector. Our second one-way connector is Dal. Dal. The second line, the first one. Dal is a one-way connector. It can be preceded by a letter, but anything that follows it, you have to leave a space. Our third one-way connector is Dal. Dal. Looks just like Dal, but it has a point over it. Okay, Dal and Dal. Thal is a one-way connector. Again, it can be preceded by a letter, but anything that follows it, you need to leave a space. Our next one-way connector is Ra, right next to it. Ra. It can be preceded by a letter, but anything following it, you have to leave a space. That's why it's a one-way connector. Our fifth one-way connector is Zay. Zay, right next to it. Okay. And Zay is a one-way connector. So, so far we have Aleph, Dal, Val, Ra, Zay. And the last one-way connector is Wow. Wow, down here at the end of the alphabet. Now, the reason these letters are known as one-way connectors is, as I mentioned, anything that precedes it can be connected to it, but anything that follows it, you have to leave a space. And the reason you have to leave a space is if you forget to leave a space, you're actually going to write a different letter than you had intended. So it's, it's a real um, important reason why you need to, um, you need to leave that space, okay? Okay, let's go over the alphabet once more. I'm going to say the letter. I want you to repeat it after me. Aleph. Aleph. Ba. Aleph. Ba. Ta. 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 Jim. 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 Ha. 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 Dal. Dal. Val. Val. Ra. Ra. Zay. Zay. Seen. Seen. Sheen. Sheen. Sod. 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 Dod. 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 Ta. 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 Va. Va. Ein. 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 Rein. 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 Fa. Fa. Cough. Cough. Calf. Calf. Lamb. Lamb. Meme. 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 Noon. Noon. Ha. 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 Wow. 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 Yeah. 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 Okay. Now it's important to remember that what we're learning right now are the names of the letters. Okay. Aleph, ba, ta, ta. 
those are the names of the letters. And it's a little bit different than the sound that the letter makes. The sound that the letter makes will change depending on um, what vowel is with it. Okay, let's take ba for example. There are three short vowels. Let's see if I can, I probably can't. Probably have to change my screen and let me do that. I'll unshare for a minute. Go ahead and pull up what the short vowels are. There are three short vowels. They're similar to um, the long vowels that we just learned. Ryan, can you tell us what the long vowels are while we're waiting for me to pull this up? What are the long vowels? Uh, they're Aleph, Wow, and Yeah. Good. Okay. So the short vowels, as I said, are similar. Um, the short vowels are Feta, Kesra, and Dhamma. And I'll bring those up here in a minute. Feta is like the Aleph, only it's short. And Kesra is like the, the E sound. And then Dhamma is like the Wa or the U sound. Sorry, you guys. This is Okay, let's see here. Okay, are you seeing me or are you seeing my screen at this point? Uh, I see you right now. Okay. <laughs> Now it is in. Okay, now I see your screen. Okay, yeah. okay, it's kind of small. Um, anyway, what we're doing is we're looking at the names of the letters, but with short vowels. So in the first section here, we have um, the vowel with feta. Feta is just a little slash mark that goes above the letter. Okay, so um, I'm going to say the letters again, but this time I'm going to say it with feta. So you're going to just hear the sound that the letter makes as opposed to the name of the letter. You'll notice how that it's different, okay? So just listen to me first. So we have a, ba, ta, sa, ja, ha, cha, da, za, ra, za, sa, cha, so, do, to. Va, a, ra, fa, ko, ka, la, ma, na, ha, wa, ya. So did you hear the difference between actually saying the name of the letter as opposed to the sound that the letter makes? Yeah, on some of okay. them. Okay, so um, when we're actually putting words together, these are what we're going to use. We're going to use the sounds that the letters make. And they change depending on what vowel you have. Okay? So in this case, we have feta. And feta makes the a ah sound. Now, in the next section, and you really can't see it, we have, um, you can actually pull this up on your own device if you want. This is in week three, actually. Um, but we have the short vowel kesra. Kesra is a slash mark that goes below the letter. Okay, so feta is a slash mark that goes above the letter. Feta, um, kesra is a slash mark that goes below the letter. Now listen as I say the, the letters, but this time with kesra. So you can see 
um, how it sounds different if there's a Kesra with that letter. So starting again from Aleph, E, B, P, C, G, H, H, D, V, R, Z, C, Sh, S, D, T, Z, E, R, F, K, K, L, M, N, H, W, Y. Okay. So again, it sounds differently when you have a, a kestra with it as opposed to a feta. But these are the sounds that the letters make. The third short vowel that we have is dhamma. And again, you can't see it very well on this page. Um, but dhamma goes above the letter like feta does. But it looks like the letter wow. Remember what the letter wow looks like? It's like wah. It has a, a loop and then a long tail. But it's really tiny, and it goes above the letters. It goes above the letters. And this time, I'm going to say the letters again, but this time, I'm going to say them with dhamma. Okay? So, starting with aleph, we have u, bu, tu, thu, du, ho, ho, du, zu, ru, zu, su, shu, su. Do, tu, lu, o, ru, fu, ho, ku, lu, mu, nu, ho, wu, and you. Okay? So those are the letters with those, um, with the short vowels. I'm going to stop again and change my screen. There is a terrific little alphabet song, um, and there's some games. If you go to week three, you want to finish up week two first, but in the next coming week, when we don't have class on Saturday, you can go through um, all of these links on week three. And there's um, an Arabic alphabet song. There are a couple of them, actually. And I would recommend singing them several times. They're going to really help you um, remember the alphabet, and they're going to, um, to help you um, to learn how to pronounce the sounds that the letters make. So there are different videos for you to watch. So you'll want to make sure and do that. Okay, I'm going to bring up some alphabet pages. Okay, so the first page that I'm bringing up here is being really temperamental today for some reason. Okay, I'm going to do it this way. Okay. <laughs> okay, this isn't working very well. So if if you can actually pull up on your own device, pull up the St. Charles website. Can you do that for me? Yeah, I'm yes. on there. Okay, okay. So we are now in week two. Well, okay, week two, the Arabic alphabet. And I want you to pull up. <laughs> Okay, we're in connecting letters where it says more alphabet practice. So this is week two. It's the second module in week two, and it says more alphabet practice. Oops. You see that? Yeah, I've got it here. Okay, so um, probably the first thing you'll see for more alphabet practice is a game. Okay, so we're going to skip that. You can play that later. And then the next thing is it says Untitled 576, and you will see um, a chart, the alphabet chart. 
Okay. Be in red and black. It says lesson okay. one. Do you see that? Yep. Okay. So here we have, again, the alphabet chart, but this time there are no names on it. So we're going to try and get through it without the names. I'm going to let you guys try it. Um, Ryan, try and do the first row for me. See if you can do the first row. Can you um, remember the names of the numbers? Aleph, and then Ba. Mm -hmm. um, the third one I can't remember. The fourth one is Tha, and then and then Jim. Good. Okay. The one that you missed is Ta. Ta. Okay. So the first line is Aleph, Ba, Ta, Tha. Gene. Okay, Lula, try the second line for me. Okay. Uh, oh man. Still just this is the second line on lesson one. Sorry. Couldn't open it. Sorry. Oh. Trying to let it load. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you got it. Okay. Okay. We're on the second row. Uh, ha. Mhm. Mm ha. 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 Mhm. Mm ha. Good. Uh, uh, Dale? Mm hmm And I don't remember the next one. Okay, Ryan, do you remember the next one? After uh, Dale? What comes after is, Dale? Is that one, uh, I don't know if I'm saying it right, uh, was it Dahl? Um, Val. Val. Val, oh, okay. Val, okay. And Lula, the last one in that row? Uh, Rock. Ra, very good. Okay, so we have ha, ha, dal, dal, and ra. Okay, I'm going to say them from the beginning. I want you to say them after me, okay? Aleph. Okay. Aleph. Ba. 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 Ta. Ta. Tha. 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 Jim. 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 Ha. 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 Dal. 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 Ra. Ra. Very good. Okay, um, Ryan, try and do the third row for me. Um, Zay. Mm -hmm. uh, scene. Mm -hmm. Sheen. Mm -hmm. Sod. Good. And uh, Dodd. Very good. Okay, so we have Zay, Seen, Sheen, Sod, and Dodd. Dodd. Okay. Okay, Lula, the next, slide, next row. Uh. Uh. Cough. Um, too far down. The one above that starts uh, with ta. Oh, ta. Uh huh. Za. Um, not za. It's pronounced za. Za. Sometimes you'll see it written za, and actually, like Egyptians pronounce it that way. Um, but in modern standard Arabic, it's pronounced za. 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 Good. Okay. Next one. Uh, uh, I'm. I'm good. I'm. Gain. Uh, Gain. Good. And. And uh, fa. Fa. Very good. Okay. 
So we're going to start again from the beginning. I'm going to say it. I want you to repeat it after me. As I look, as I say it, look at each letter as we're going through it, so that um, you can associate the sound with or the name with what it looks like. Okay. So start with okay. Aleph. Say it after me. Aleph. 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 Ba. 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 Ta. 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 Da. 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 Jim. Jim. Ha. 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 Dal. 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 Ra. 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 They. They. Seen. Seen. Sheen. 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 Sod. Sod. Dod. Dod. Ta. Ta. Ra. Ta. Ein. Ein. Rein. 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 Fa. 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 Good. Okay. Ryan, read the next row for me. Uh, cough. Mm -hmm. um, calf. Good. Lamb. Mm -hmm. Meme. Mm -hmm. And noon. Very good. Cough. Calf, lamb, meme, and noon. Okay? Um, Lula, the next row, there's going to be one that you're not going to know. Number three. Okay? Um, ha. There's one before ha. Uh, I don't remember that one. Okay, Ryan, what's the one before ha? One of those um, long vowels. Oh. One of the what vowels? One of the long vowels. Um. Is it a? Uh, yeah. No, it's the other one. It's not Alice. Uh, uh, wow. Wow. Okay, so it starts with wow, and then you said ha. Good. The third one is um the letter. Remember um. Last class, we were talking about the number of letters in the alphabet. Some people say 28, some people say 29. Um, this letter is the one that, that throws people off. It's called Hamza. And Hamza. it's not really uh, a letter. Um, it's used as a glottal stop, and it can be used over um, the long vowels, or it can be used by itself. There are all kinds of rules going with Hamza. We won't go over those today, but just know that the name of this letter is Hamza. It's Hamza. Okay. It looks kind of like a backward too. It's just a tiny little letter, um, but it doesn't have full letter status. Okay. And Lula, what's the last letter that you see there? Uh, yeah. A uh, yeah. Very good. Okay. So we're going to go all the way through the alphabet, and I'm going to say it, and I want you to repeat it after me. Okay. Aleph. Aleph. Ba. 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 Ta. 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 Tha. 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 Jim. 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 Ha. 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 Dale. Dale. Ra. 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 They. 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 Seen. Seen. Sheen. 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 Sod. 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 Dod. 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 Ta. Ta. Va. Da. Da. Ein. 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 Rein. 
Rein. Fa. Fa. Cough. Cough. Calf. 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 Lamb. 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 Meme. 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 Noon. 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 Next should be ha. 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 There are ha. Wow. Wow. Hamza. 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 Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, now I want you to move on to lesson two. Okay, just scroll down. It says mix Arabic alphabet. See that? Just scroll yeah. down to mix Arabic alphabet. Lula, do you see it? Lula, do you see it? <laughs> okay, so um, what we're going to do is you have, again, the letters of the Arabic alphabet, but this time they're out of order, okay? So this will give you a chance to see which letters you actually remember. Okay, so let's start with Ryan. And Ryan, try and read that first line for me, just all the way across. Um, ha. What? Uh, ba. Good. Um, yeah, I don't remember that one. Okay, this one's ha. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, and then ta. Good. And then lamb. Very good. Lula, are you there? Lula? No? Okay. Um, <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> go on, Ryan. Okay. All right. Uh, Jim. Uh, scene. Good. Um... Uh, oh, uh, Dal. Very good. Ein. Mm -hmm. And then that last one, I want to say is Dal again, and I know that's not right. Um, well, look at the Dal, and you see that the okay. Dal kind of sits on the line. It's flat on the bottom. Oh, okay. And this one goes below the line, okay? Okay. And it's the letter Ra. Ra. Okay. Okay, good. Okay. Um, Lula, are you back? Lula? Nope. Okay, Ryan, go ahead. <laughs> no, it's not, yeah, I'm not seeing her icon here. She's, okay. she's dropped out. Um, uh, za, or Zay. Mm -hmm. um, Zay, good. Uh-huh. And then, uh, Rain. Good. I th that one looks a lot like Sheen, so I think it's Sheen. It is. Okay, you'll okay. notice it looks exactly like Sheen, but it has yeah. three points up. Three points yeah. up. Okay, next one. Um, that one I don't recall. Okay, that's one of your long vowels. Oh, right. Uh, yeah. Very good. And then um, Dodd. Very good. Okay, keep going. Okay. Uh, wow. Mm -hmm. um, ta. Um, Two points up. Aleph, Ba, and then you have this one. Um, 
Oh, uh, noon. Um, that's the one next to it. It's one point up, but this is two points up. Oh, whoops. Yeah, the two points up. That, that's uh, that's ta. The next one ta. is noon. Very good. Ta and noon. Okay, one point okay. up is noon. What's the next one? Uh, meme. Good. And? Uh, calf. Calf. Very good. Okay, next line. Um... I have no idea on that one. Okay, that one is Poth. Poth. Okay. Uh huh. It looks quite a bit like Fa. Fa has one point up. Poth has two points up. Okay. Uh, and then the next one is Tha. Uh huh. Um. And then uh, Thal. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Aleph. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Za. Um, it's pronounced za. 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 I keep pronouncing that one with a yeah, z. Yeah, it's confusing because um, you will see alphabet charts where they say za, or sometimes they'll make it uh, z with a point underneath. Um, okay. And it's yeah. Not really a, a letter that we actually have. It's like a combination of letters in English, but it's za. za. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I was uh, I was studying with the uh, the Arabic alphabet chart you uh, included on here also, and um, it had Z A written over it, and I think that's why yeah. I keep yeah yeah keep pronouncing but it's pronounced wrong. Law. Law. Okay, uh, and then the last row um, is sod, mm -hmm. sod. fa, mm -hmm. and this is uh, Hamza. Good. And then, um, ha. Um, this one is actually pronounced ha. Ha, ha. okay. Yeah. There are pairs of letters in Arabic that are very similar, um, but one's light and one's heavy, okay? In this case, the matching letter is this one at the, at the very top, the one right in the middle. That's ha, okay? Oh, okay. So the top line, right in the middle, that's ha. But the one at, in the last row at the very end is ha. 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 It doesn't make a whole lot of difference, um, except when there's like a, a vowel paired with it. In a word, it's going to make a difference. Um, okay. So it, it changes the way, um, like in ha, it's very light, but ha, a lot of air comes out. So that's, that's the difference. Um, okay. There are also other pairs of letters like that. For instance, we have um, the letter ta, ha, and the letter ta, ta, okay. ta, and ta. Okay. So there's a light letter and then a heavy letter. Okay. Let's go on to um, lesson three. If you just scroll down to the next lesson, here you'll see the letters in different forms. Remember that in the last class we mentioned that um, all letters, or most letters, will have up to, well all letters will have up to four different forms depending on where they're found in the word. Okay, so in um, this chart and the ones that follow, you will see um, what those different forms are. Okay, so on lesson three, the first row, we have um, Lula, are you back? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, what letter do we have on lesson three, the first row? Uh, ba. Ba. The letter ba. Okay. Now, I want you to look at the next three squares after this one, and all of those are all the letter ba. Okay. So the first row, the first row, the first square is the one that we've seen before, okay, that's the full letter, and that's what we say um, the letter ba in isolation, in isolation. The one next to it, number two, is ba at the beginning of a word, so it changes. We look at ba at the beginning of a word. The third square is ba 
in the middle of a word when there's something before it and something after it. Okay? And then finally, we have ba at the end of the word. Okay? Ba at the end of the word. It has, um, it's connected to what precedes it, but then you get that full shape again. Okay? And there are several um, handouts and including the Gateway to Arabic assignments where you will be practicing writing these letters. Um, and there are a couple of videos that are um, writing the letters of the Arabic alphabet. There's a part one and a part two. Um, you'll be doing that this week if you haven't already done those. Okay, so make sure and watch those and make sure and write um, the, the letters and practice writing them. You'll get some practice on the, um, like the isolated form in Gateway to Arabic. And then I put up some supplementary worksheets as well for these modified forms. All of the letters of the Arabic alphabet will have up to four different letters, shapes, depending on where they're found in the word. Um, but your one-way connectors only really have two shapes, okay? So they can have up to four, but some only have two if they're one-way connectors. Okay. Now, I want you just to, to take a look at these, just because sometimes the way they're, they're grouped, it will um, help you remember them. So here we have ba, ta, and tha. If you look at the first three lines of lesson three, you'll see ba, ta, and tha. And then we see um, first in the isolated position, followed by in the beginning position or the initial position, followed by the middle or medial position, and followed by the last position, the final position, okay? But if you look at ba, ta, and tha, look at all three of those lines, you'll notice that they pretty much all look about the same. The only difference between ba, ta, and tha is the number and placement of dots, okay? So um, dots in Arabic are really, really important. Um, it's not like in English where you can forget to dot an I and everybody's still going to know it's an I. Um, here, if you forget to put your dots, it's going to really confuse people. Although, um, when Arabic was first created, um, it was created without dots. So, um, it was created um, in the Arabian Peninsula and um, they started to codify the language and the actual shapes they had did not have dots. The dots came later when um, Islam actually spread to non-Arabic speaking countries and they needed to teach the language to um, speakers of other languages. And for, for speakers of other languages, there was just no way to figure out what people were trying to say when you saw just, for instance, this curved shape without the dots. They, they just couldn't figure it out. So they needed to come up with a system and they came up with a system of pointing the letters, okay? So in lesson three then, you have that, tat, and that. All three of those letters have the same basic shape. The only difference is that has one point down, ta has two points up, and tha has three points up in a triangular pattern, okay? Now let's look at the next three rows. The next three rows are, um, Lula, can you tell me what the next three letters are? The first letter in each line? Uh, Jim. Mm -hmm. uh, ha. Mm -hmm. And uh, Ha. Good. So we have Jim, Ha, the heavy sound, and Ha. Now, you'll notice that, again, it has four different shapes here. So if you look across, starting with Jim, you'll see First, jim in the very first square. That's the way we've learned it in the past, okay? So the actual full letter in isolation, followed by how it looks when it begins a letter, when it begins a word, okay? See the difference between the way jim looks in its isolated position compared to the way jim looks at the beginning of a word? It's much smaller. You both see that? Yes. Yeah. How it changes? Okay. Now in the third square, you'll see that it connects to something that precedes it. Okay, there's a little um, tail there, or something that holds it on to the, the letter that goes before it. 
Okay, and then you see about the same form as the beginning form. Okay, that's in the middle of a word. And it would go ahead and connect. Okay, and then the last square is gene in its, um, at the end of a word. Okay, so we've got the beginning of a word, the middle of a word, um, I'm sorry, the isolated form, the beginning of the word, the middle of the word, and the end of the word. Okay, so, um, and if you look at jim, ha, and ha, you'll notice that all of those changes are pretty much the same. Again, the only difference between jim, ha, and ha is the placement of the dots. So jim has a dot in the middle of the letter or underneath for the beginning form. Ha um, doesn't have a dot, and ha has a dot that goes over the letter, okay? Now let's move on to lesson four. Lesson four, if you look at the first two rows, Ryan, can you tell me what those first two letters are? And lesson four. Um, Dal and uh, Thal. Very good, Dal and Thal. And remember that both Dal and Thal are one-way connectors, okay? So if you look at um, the following shapes, you'll notice that basically you just have two different shapes. So you have the isolated one, that would be your first two, okay? And then you have it when it's connected to something else. But it only has two shapes. And the same thing with thou. The only difference between dal and thou is that um, in dal you don't have a point, in thou you do have a point over the letter, okay? Okay, the next two. Lula, what are the next two letters? Ra and mm -hmm. And Zay. Ra and Zay. Okay? And again, Ra and Zay are one-way connectors, so they only have two different forms. You have Ra in isolation, Ra at the beginning of a word, okay? Um, and then you have it when and it's in the middle of a word, connected and at the end of the word, but the first two forms are the same and the last two forms are the same. Okay, and if you look at zay, it's the same thing. You just have those two forms. So anytime you have a one-way connector, it's only going to have two real forms. Okay, okay let's skip down to the last two rows. And um, Ryan, what letters do you have there? Uh, seen and sheen. Very good. Seen and sheen. The only difference between these two letters, they're written exactly the same way, except for the dots that you get with sheen. So you have three points up in um, a triangular pattern. When you go through those videos of how to write the letters, you'll want to have um, lots of paper in front of you and just pause the video as you're going through it. Practice writing the letter over and over again and um, and then go on to the next letter. But every time you write the letter, I want you to say it out loud. And the reason being, I want you to make that connection between the way the letter looks and the way it sounds, okay? Okay, so on seen and sheen, they look exactly alike, except for, again, those number of dots. We have seen and sheen in the first column in the isolated position, followed by seen and sheen at the beginning of a word, the next, the third group is seen and sheen in the middle of a word, and finally seen and sheen at the end of the word, okay? So there are four different shapes there. Any questions so far? Nope. Nope, okay. We're kind of running out of time. Um, okay, so lesson five, um, let's just do two more rows. Okay, so we have sawed, and dawed, okay, we have sawed and dawed, they look exactly alike, except for dawed has a point over it, okay? You see sawed and dawed um, in isolation, followed by at the beginning of a word, followed by in the middle of a word, and then finally at the end of the word, okay? So um, we will continue on with these, um, next week. Remember that 
We don't have class on Saturday because it's Eid, okay? Um, but we will have class the following Wednesday at 9.30, just like today, okay? Are there any questions about um, anything that we've gone over today? Uh, I don't think so. Not okay. for me. Um, you want to be um, working on, this week you should be working on um, week two. So there are two different modules. There's the Arabic alphabet and connecting letters and vowels. So make sure that you just go through each of those sections link by link um, to make sure that you um, know what's going on there. And play those games and listen to those songs because those will help you um, with re retaining the alphabet in order and out of order. And then um, we'll start with week three, but you really want to put in a lot of time. So you should be doing um, some Arabic alphabet stuff every single day. There's some really good games and things. Um, if you just click on the links, it'll take you to those games. I think you'll really enjoy the games, and they're really good for you to help you remember what's going on. Okay? So remember, we'll meet next Wednesday at 930. Okay? Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Have a great week. If you have any you questions, um, feel free to, to um, get in touch with me at any time. You can always just email me. Like I said, the, there's a eight hour or nine hour time difference. So um, email usually works best and then I'll get right back to you and we can figure out something. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Yep. Okay. Have a great week. Yep. You too. Thanks. Ma salama.